here's an interesting pattern that Trenton came up with. Let's see how he did it. I've always said a bit of experimentation, you can come up with all sorts. Trenton's gone with a column, sorry, not a column coding, a coding, we'll come back to that, of under, 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 over, over, over. Use the colours blue, orange and black. Not sure what shadow colour he used, but I've used white here. I've changed the strand gap size to 0.05. Doesn't really matter, I just find it a bit easier to see with a small strand gap size, or even a zero strand gap size. He's used 21 parts, 12 bytes. He's got to use a pineapple grid, so he's used, it, used three nested bytes and shifted bottom bytes by one. He actually went for a row coding rather than column coding and a pineapple grid. Yeah, and that's what he finished up with. But Stephen Joel pointed out that this might not be terribly easy to tie because if you look at the blue bytes at the bottom going from top left to bottom right we cross over three each time and tightening that, that up might be a bit tricky. What can we do about this? Well first of all let me look at the instructions for strand one blue and I've actually taken a snapshot of that. We'll come back to it later so that we can compare. If we go back to the, the diagram, we could use this toggle strand coding box. Let's click that and then click on the blue. It actually changes to yellow as you hover over it. And although going from top left to bottom right it no longer goes over three, it goes under three, but going from the bottom right, bottom left to top right, it now goes over three. So we're going to have the same problem here, tightening this up, because of so many overs together. That's basically down to the code in his set of three unders, three overs. But maybe we can have a play with this let me toggle the strand coding back to what it was. See now we're coming from top left to bottom right. The blue byte at the bottom goes over three before forming the byte. Here's another box that I don't think many people use. Let's click set under and go to this bottom here. It's now gone under that's gone under, that's gone under. That might make life a little bit easier because we don't have three overs or three unders anymore. Worth experimenting just to see what happens and we probably, no we don't need to do that at the top do we? Well I'll let you play with this but the fact is we've maintained the pattern here of the three colours because we went right to the bottom and changed the crossing just on the blue. It's not affected the pattern at all. But let me go down to the instructions and compare it. Let me bring the original snapshot over. And yes I can see one thing that's changed there already. From F1 to A1 instead of going over, over, under it now goes under, over, under changing the crossings is reflected in the run list so when you get something that looks like it might not tie terribly well you do have some options may not always work but I thought I'd share that with you keep experimenting see what you come up with thanks again for watching